What's up guys, I'm Garamoth, welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. It's time for the week 2 wrap up of the Dead Air Invitational Blood Bowl 2 League. Of course this video is going to have spoilers as per usual as we talk through the results of the week and take a look at the teams. So if you haven't seen the matches, there are links on the screen to the four matches that were played this week. Highly recommend you go check those out before watching the rest of this video. If you don't care, or you've seen the matches already, stick around, we're going to check out the results. Alright, so, four matches that were played this week. Starting off, Human Team, the Clone Brigade, as coached by Lucas, going up against my team, the Necro-Orchicons, the Orcs. End up in a 2-0 game. Uh, was uh, Lucas played really well. I have no doubt about that. Lucas is a really good player. I highly recommend people watch all of Lucas's matches because he has this amazing play style of just generally having a really good strategy and knowing what he's doing combined with just an amazing ability to get super greedy and push those dice as far as he can so his matches are always entertaining in my eyes I'm disappointed with this game personally I felt that I I definitely got outplayed by Lucas I'm not trying to dispute that um, but I definitely really know after the first half I realized how badly I'd messed up and that made me a little sad, but yeah, well-deserved win to Lucas, the 2-0. Almost the 3-0, but yeah. Second match of the week is the last action. Rats going up against the Jungle Jumble, which is, of course, the Skaven team coached by Uniform 764, going up against the Lizardmen coached by uh, Ronith. So yeah, this is this one was pretty one-sided. Um, I went into the match kind of expecting that Madam might have a chance at holding the Skinks because he has gutter runners and stuff, so it's like... He has the ability to catch up with the skinks and put pressure on them, but unfortunately it just, it just didn't happen. Um, the skinks were able to just run all over him, and yeah, the, it's the standard sort of lizard and spiral out of control victory. Not a lot else to say really, very dominating performance from Ronith. Uh, third match of the week, the Full Metal Munchies, which of course the Chaos team, as coached by Pete, or Titan's Creed, went up against El Loth, the Dark Elf team, as coached by Nick, or Nemo Nemo, the other new coach to this league. Um, I'll be honest, I don't quite remember exactly what happened in this game. I th think... I could be wrong. It's been a w This game, it's been a while. For some reason, I just can't remember much about it. But um, I'm pretty sure this game, a touchback happened. So in the first, in the first week, a uh, touchback happened and Pete gave it to his Minotaur and scored. I believe the same thing happened in this one. But this time... Uh, Nick was able to stop the Minotaur from advancing. I think that might have happened. Um, apologies if that's wrong. But yeah, Nick had basically managed to hold the line and push back and managed to use elf elf powers to uh, get that 1-0 victory, which is all he needed to get to claim the victory. So yeah. Last match of the week was, of course, the High Elves or Skull Push, coached by uh, Dan or some kind of wizard, going up against the Salty Sea Doges, which is um, Greg's dwarf team. Uh, this one I thought would be... I thought Dan could take this pretty heavily because the speed difference and the agi difference is kind of severe. Um, dwarfs are very slow, but um, I, I really felt like Dan, based on the way he played his Chaos team in Season 1, and I thought he coming into this he'd have a really nice grasp on like how to play high elves, but you know, unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, again, Greg, Greg managed to push the dice and get, get the... This game looked like it might end 0-0, nil -nil, but... Greg managed to get the dice that he needed to get the 0-1. Um, yeah, I feel that the biggest issue there was the Hyos didn't really um, didn't really ex uh, exploit their speed much. They tried to they tried to drive a little bit too much into dwarves, and it's not going to work. Dwarves dwarves are just going to beat you in the bashing game. Just they they have so much more skill power than you do, and it's. And the armor means they're not going to even go off the pitch if you knock them over usually. So, yeah, bit bit of a bit of an odd game, but yeah, ended up with a victory to Greg. So, those are the four matches that were played this week. We will now take a look at the teams and the schedule for next week. Uh, I will go get the other coaches, or at least who's around, and we shall chat about that. So, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with a selection of the coaches from the league. We have Ronith. Yay! Hello. Uh, we have Nick. Hey. And we have Pete. Aloha. So it's a bit of a smaller like group this week, but it's fine. We're still gonna shit talk probably. It's all oh, good. Yeah. All good. 
Uh, so, of course, we're looking at the matches that we played in week three. Uh, first up is Clone Brigade, a.k.a. the Humans, which is coached by Lucas, uh, against the Salty Sea Dogers, which is uh, Greg's Dwarfs. Second match of the week is Oloth, which is Nick's Dark Elves, going up against the High Elves, Skull Push, coached by Dan. Uh, third matchup of the week is the Jungle Jumble, which is Ronis Lizardman, going up against the Full Metal Munchies, which is Pete's Chaos Team. And then the last match of the week is the Necro Orcicons, which is my Orc Team, going up against Madden's uh, Last Action Rats, aka the Skaven. Uh, pretty pretty interesting lineup this week. I'm I'm totally down to see the Battle of the Elves. Yeah, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Dark what, Elves how, what, what's, what, what's Dan's record so far? Is he, is he 0 2? He's 0 2. Okay. He's about well, yeah. my my my, he, he, my, my he just one, missed I'm, the tie last week, didn't he? Yeah. 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 And I I just managed to swing the the score on my one, so Dan is currently on par to reach his uh, season one record. <laughs> so so basically, the only person he's not going to lose to is Madden. Is what you're saying? Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> I want that. To, I want that to happen again. Hello. Hey, oh, hey Lucas. Hi. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Welcome. So, Welcome to the wrap up. Um, so, Hi. well, since you're here, let's jump into your game. So, the first weekend match of the week is humans versus the dwarfs. Yes. Yeah. So, how are you, how are you feeling about that one? I actually feel quite quite confident. I have uh, made up a really unorthodox strategy for this match, and I hope oh, it will work. Like, Who dies for all the schedule? things? <laughs> unorthodox. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna two red dice everything. He's not gonna give a single no, shit. He, he's gonna put he's gonna put a waxer on the line and screw everything else. <laughs> Wax is, <laughs> waxer <laughs> is. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Greg Greg has two victories under his belt, but it could be argued that both both of the he's won both his games one nil. I think if I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One. Hang on. Yeah. One nil against Dan and one nil against Madden, and, and it could be argued. If Madden was here, it would be argued very loudly that uh, <laughs> he's won both of his games with a bit of fluke. <laughs> I'd, I'd say that's fair. Kind of. It's also uh, relatively squishy teams. What, dwarfs? No, no every, everyone he's played against. He's played right, against okay. Yeah. I was well, going to say, dwarf squishy? What? Ron, what are you smoking? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the opposite. He's been uh, up against mostly squishy teams. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the heaviest team that will meet at the moment. Well, technically not, yeah. because uh, uh, high elves have the same armor value. Yeah, it's, about, it's the same. I guess. No, the, the difference, obviously, true. is a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's more punching power in your team, because uh, you, you have more blocks. You it's true. Have you have two more blocks than Dan did, and you have an ogre. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you might have more blocks. I don't remember uh, any I think he has team. More blocks. And I have a guard piece. Yeah, you have guard. Uh, yeah. So let's just run it down. So team roster, you've got uh, jump up, of course, on barbarian. That was a guard piece on the ogre. Yeah, those are the god. So much SPP. <laughs> yeah. He has a yeah. lineman with blitz uh, or a block as well. So he's essentially another blitzer. So. Uh, oh yeah, there is. I was confused. Like I was, I was like, there's definitely an extra block there, but I couldn't see the lineman. I, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Landship has blitz. Has block. Yeah, I forgot to give him kick because I was. Yeah, block. Nice. It's fine. Block is still. To be fair, yeah, that's, that's not a wasted <laughs> skill. You gave it. Yeah. You gave him block. It's fine. Has Greg got level? Greg is Greg. Greg had one level up last week. Um, kick is really good. Where is he? Kick is really good. Yeah, I got, I got kick that's wrong my, team. my lineman. It's way better on an elf team because elf yes. team can capitalize on. I don't the... think I don't think Greg got a level up in this match. I don't think he did either. I know Dan got two. <laughs> I plan to get the catcher after this match, and kick will be useful then. I will probably van went to pass something with Wyvern, so he got level six. Kick is useful with the catcher, but you have to rely on a blitz, right? Because the way you can't Not kick. really. Well, you I can't don't really want to spoil some of my strategies, but. But you can't. But, <laughs> so... but, but you can't. You can't kick. You can't like your ball lands before you can move. The only way you can move before. Oh wait, hang on. Isn't that there's like a kickoff return skill or something? No. Okay, so... I was point. Uh, you can actually catch the ball with diving catch. Oh, if you kick it like super close to the line. Yeah. yeah. That's still well, really <laughs> risky. Like, <laughs> crazy oh, risky. It's fun to do. That's like, that's pure, amazing. that's pure RNG. Like, just pure RNG. Well, unlike the rest of Blood Bowl, which is yeah, clearly all time. I'm an aggressive player, so I don't mind if the ball goes close to the line. It's just easier for me to grab them. That's true. Yeah, but then there's it being that's aggressive, genius, and then actually. there's just... That's pretty funny. And if my guy gets it, who? 
Nice. I don't know. I think you've got a. I, I think you'll take. I this. usually pair up the the, the, the the diving catch and dump off. So if someone actually attacks the player who has had <laughs> taken the ball, he just throws the balls away. <laughs> dump off's pretty have good. Like a dedicated like squad of people just ready to dive onto the enemy pitch, and then when they get attacked, they just throw the ball back to your actual. Yeah, dump uh, off, man. Dump off's pretty good. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm. I think. I think Lucas can take Greg. I think it's going to be like, a t I feel like a 2 Dell is quite likely. Well, that strategy won't happen in this game. But no, it won't. I'm but... aiming to make it happen some point. Of this I, re game. Yeah. I, re I reckon you can take him too now. Just because... Looking at that, too. I'm just crying SPP-wise. I know. I, know. I, <laughs> I think I've gotten over 40 SPP. Yeah, you have Two. sick SPP. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's 20, 23, 29, 33... 34, 39. You've got 39 SPP on your team. Yeah, that's, that is pretty good. I'm still... Considering I that only 10 of those come from star player. Yeah. MVP, yeah. I have no level ups yet, which is <laughs> I'm sad about. I got, I got a lucky level up that, the, my, that my one guy who threw the pass last game got star player, got MVP. Alright. So, yeah. Seriously, I, I realize that you actually have one person from every match this week. We do, yeah. So, second match, of course, is your match against Dan. It's the elf, bro, it's the elf uh, brawl down, bro down, whatever you want to call it. It's basically, it's, it's dark elves versus light elves, or high elves versus low elves, whatever you want to call it. Yep. This should be interesting. Uh, um, I think I give the edge to you, Nick. Yeah, I'm, uh, my, my, my blitz is going to be back, although I'm, still, I'm down a witch elf. Yeah, let's go look at, let's go look at lineups, actually. So, dark elves, there you are. Uh, I'm at, well, I mean... Oh yeah, I injured the witch elf, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, did. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that realization, she's like, oh, yeah, fuck that witch elf. <laughs> the I, I, that and I went out of my way not to foul the Chaos Warrior to bits. Yeah, but let's, let's be fair. Um, go on. That was, go, that go was on. after, wait, 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 that was yeah, after I injured the witch elf. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, your blitz having minus one AV really sucks, though. That yep. wasn't me. Yep. It is two two blitzers versus three. Uh, yeah. Two high elf blitzers versus uh, three from dark elves. There's yeah, he's a got thrower, a, he's, there's he's a got thrower, a, he's thrower, thrower from thrower. high elves. He's got a thrower. Um, he's got uh, a line. That, that lineman got cat. It's got dodge. Okay. It's yeah, dodge. yeah. It's not. It's dodge. So he is a good, pretty good thrower right now. He does. He does. Technically, has more skills than you, but like. The stat, the stats of your elves are pretty much the same. They're identical, so, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so actually, like, pretty it, much. We have kind of the, the very it. similar teams, just maybe down to skill and experience. I think. How mm -hmm. much? Which is one of those? How much a dark elf, uh, lineman? Seventy k. Wow. So you're really not getting anything <laughs> in terms nope. of. Uh, money. In, fact, in, terms in fact, I think you're going to give Dan money, not much. Twenty k. Yeah, that probably an insignificant amount. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm at I'm at nine seventy. He yeah, gets ten forty. So and Dan's at ten ninety. No, he'll get the value. He'll get. He's get. Oh, you've only got the one. Yeah, he's only getting one. Oh, I thought you had two. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Although I would be tempted to fight that blitzer, personally, because hundred thousand though, hundred thousand. I know, I know. You can't get another one, but it's just the fact that like that guy's got minus AV, and the second he gets SPP, that choice becomes even harder because he's got minus AV, and it's just yeah. like, uh... yeah. Thing is, like, I don't think the league is long enough for me to justify firing him. It's probably a reasonable argument against because I want to get I want to get my fourth blitzer in. It, like, as long as I roll. If I lose, if I roll a two plus, or if I if I sorry, if I rule, if I, if I lose, it's a two three plus. If I win, it's a two plus. Yeah. To get my fourth blitzer. That's reasonable. So like I can't like I can't get rid of him. I fired a player. <laughs> I fired my I fired the locals. He he got fired. He got minus AV. Yeah, but he's a lineman. <laughs> yeah, but you did get you did have enough to get your fourth black hole. Yeah, but I would have fired him anyway. Yeah. Minus AV sucks. It's really bad. I played Wood Elves. I know what seven armor is. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a Lyman Auric, that's only eight armor. Uh, it's so far, like, it's, like, he's got like, he's, he's, he's AV7. Yeah. He's, still, he's still got block. He's still got a uh, movement alliance with seven yeah. as well. Yeah. 
So he's like, is he still mathematically better than a lineman? Than a lineman, yeah. He's still like, he hasn't got the skills, but he's got like, he's got like the same stat line as a witch elf. Yeah, that's true. It's it's, it's a tough choice. I'd say it's like I said, I would be tempted to fire. Where, where's the where's the witch elf has dodge? The, the motorhead has block. So yeah. Well, in, if it was a, if it was like a double round robin, I would be I'd consider it, but it's not. So yeah. I'm not gonna get. I was like, I did, I did like the maths of the amount of money in SPP. We can the amount of money is the important thing. We can actually earn over the course of seven games plus maybe playoffs, and it's yeah. just not worth it. Uh, either way, that's the thing. I think score wise, this has this is one of those matches that has the potential to either go like insane, like a three, like you know, three three or something, or it, or it'll go like zero one, uh, or it'll go like one nil. I think four zero. Yeah. Oh yeah, like a four zero is totally possible. Like what I'm saying is, like it either will be like super high scoring or very low scoring. I don't think it will be a middle of the pack game. I agree. I'll endeavor to make it a two two just for you. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't fine with it's that. Still four touchdowns. Yeah. I guess. We had six in one game before, so we've had six. Well, in... Yeah, but that, that's yeah. super high. <laughs> All right, third match of the week: it's Lizards versus Chaos. The Punchies right. versus the Punchies. <laughs> Uh, less punchies versus the punchies. Now th you still have five Saurus. Yeah, but yeah. Th I'm less punchy. Still have Getting five Saurus. Yeah, it's, it's it's four Chaos Warriors plus the ogre plus the Minotaur versus four three five three three three, 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 three. three. Thank God for that. But I I uh, do have I do have someone that may be able to try and keep up with a skink and blow its brain out. Yeah, you did get a beastman with extra movement. Did. That is nuts. You did. He, he's still Pretty one. Good. He's still one less than the skinks, right? He's movement seven. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he's got a chance to. He does. Yeah, my my level ups are uh, one skink with extra movement, one skink with uh, jump up. So, other than that, I will have five Soras and then two journeyman skinks. So. You got some nice SPP on your like call players, Pete, as well. You got three on the Minotaur, five on a Chaos Warrior, two on the other Chaos Warrior, and then Doom and Burger is still on zero, but yeah. I mean that's still that's better than you did for your Black Ox, let's say that. It really is. <laughs> I'm looking at my my team and I'm it's better than yeah. it's better than my Black Ox too. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at my team and I, I I'm actually I actually haven't looked at this before, but I actually have a insanely good spread, like Yeah, you got like, five on Fred. Th th this is this fall into place quite well. Yeah, five on Fred, five on Carlos Bassa, um, two on Mr. Crowley, and the zero on Nosey Nosebone, but two on the Crocs as well, even though he's out this week, obviously. Yeah, like, like uh, there's a lot of players that can level up just from MVPs. Like, you literally only have two players with zero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm missing one, but, like, yeah, eventually. Yeah, you're missing one, but he's Jesus still... Christ, you got, a, you got a skank with movement allowance up? Yeah, he did. It was yeah, I did. This is his first level up. Dang, son. That was bring your own blocks. He he did the, he weathered the storm. Can you imagine <laughs> if he gets sprint and sure feet? Uh, yeah, I Disgusting. mean, uh, that's that's not the idea. Maybe it, it is. <laughs> well, he's currently he, he, as soon as he gets sprint, he can one turn touchdown, <laughs> like without any like sort of <laughs> weird pushing maneuvers. Yep. Shut if he's up. on the line, right? If he's up, yeah, if he's on the line, but that's how he, generally a one turn touchdown is. Generally, when you one turn touch time, it's considered from the line because going f <coughs> going from further back is a lot more difficult. <laughs> and you might, I, I, how many times can you actually get uh, extra movement? As much as you roll. Every level up. Well, I think it caps out at really? ten, doesn't it? I don't know. It might be. I like, legitimately like don't know. Strength <laughs> Let's find out. out. Strength caps out at six. Does it? Uh, that don't strength and agility true. both cap at six, I think, because I don't think that's true. I think I think it, I yeah. think they cap at, at plus two extra strength and, and agility. So I assume that's the same for movement and armor. Let's look at like, which, which which version of the living rulebook we have. We are we at uh, six, I think, or the the one that's the chaos cup. It's like six or chaos cup. I don't know which is. I think it's six. Because uh, I'm just saying, like, if <clears throat> if I get movement allowance again. That guy's gonna be really fast. Mm -hmm. Movement allowance again would be would make you being it like move, movement allowance is better than sprint obviously because it makes that extra one guaranteed rather than a yeah yeah plus. exactly. And then I could get uh, sprint and sure. 
In terms of records, I can't remember. So obviously Ronith was in the three three game. What was Ronith second? Did you three you three would didn't I, you? I I three would yeah. Yep. Whereas Pete uh Pete lost one nil and beat uh Dan two one. Yep. I don't know, I think I think this is Are we getting are we getting aging rules? No, aging rules are off. Yeah, getting yeah uh, AV, no stats can go above two above the original score. Just two above. Okay, okay. yeah. That's what I thought. Cool. So, no skin can be stronger than f strength four. Good. No, no, no one answer can be ever be stronger than Jack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, they can okay. be as strong. They can be as strong, but they can't be strong as Jack is the strongest. That's true. Did Jack roll double strength up? He, don't, he rolled yes. double strength up. What was he? Was he a strength... He was, oh, a, he was a strength 5 war dancer with... <laughs> wow, with, I, kind of, uh, I kind of missed the end of the first season. Like block, dodge, strip ball. It was really funny watching Ronith have to put three Chaos Warriors to block him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I remember like, my, 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 off, my off dwarf team had managed, I managed to get a strength up on a, on a blitzer, which was just funny. Like strength 4 dwarf blitzer. It was like, hey, yeah, have fun. Yeah. Uh, so, I, how many rats do you reckon you can kill next week? Oh, me? I don't know. Based on my luck so far, none. <laughs> Based on Madden's luck, a lot. I'll ki no, yeah, that's the thing. I think our looks will like collide in a way that I'll KO his entire team. So he'll have his team removed from the pitch, but I'll get I nothing mean, for it. Of, like, <laughs> that sort of uh, unlickiness over to like other other players. Well, not maybe not Greg, but definitely me. It's like... It's so this is the bit. first time you're up against uh, Armor Value 7 team. Uh, that is correct. But I, the issue I'm running into is I don't have a, any level ups. Uh, I've got my extra black orc now, which is good. Um, you know, it's another strength four piece. It doesn't have skills, but I, I, I'm up to the four blitzers, four black orcs, and then I've got throw a lineman goblin. Um, so I've got the potential to just beat the shit out of his rats. But the main issue is like this is all going to be a positioning match for me because I don't have anything that can keep up with gutter runners. It just doesn't happen. I'm gonna catch him. So tackle them with the blitzers, basically. Yeah. Well, I've got plans. I I don't know how I want to set up against him. So uh, will a black orc get a three dice, or does he need one assist? He needs one assist to get a three dice against a gutter runner. You need, uh, you need double, double plus. plus you need one. double plus one to get three dice. And actually get close to them. Yeah, yeah but black I. Black orc's gonna probably not never going to get a hit on uh, gutter. Yeah, it's just, don't don't just say... double going for it blitz. It's fine. That's not true, Ronith. It's quite easy for well, a black probably orc. not. It depends on how you guys play. It. <laughs> no, it's like saying a saying a gutter runner will never get hit by a black orc in this game. Theoretically, I think is, no, it's not even theoretically. In a marathon. <laughs> That's yeah, but it's not a marathon. It's a blood. Like he has to walk past my black orcs <laughs> to get to my line. <laughs> oh, well, it's all on Madden doing doing the plays. So black orcs on the line confirmed. No, they're not going to be on the line. They're going to be like I already said this. I'm going to have two black orcs uh, in each of the sides, like one in each of the side oh, zones. Yeah, and they, that, that, that was what I meant. I just said it wrong. They're going to be they're going to be about halfway down the pitch because <laughs> then basically, if he, he no matter where he runs, he's going to run to one of the black orcs can run over and hit it. Yep. Also, I like the way with my team picture, there's just the new Blackhawk is just like, he's on a bench at the back, so he's so much bigger than everyone else. He's like, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> can a can Rat Ogre learn a way to throw the... No, because no. um, none of the pe none of the Skavens have um, right stuff, which you need to be thrown. You can't level up right stuff, you can't go in right stuff. No, yeah, right, right, st right stuff is an innate ability, it's not a learned ability. It would be funny to throw humans, though. A word. Let's have a look at his Skaven, because I think Man Man's back to his gutter runners, right? He's does. Yeah, uh, yeah he should have his gutter runners. He's got back. three gutter I runners. Didn't, I didn't actually uh, remove anyone. He's got three gutter runners. One of them has block. Oh, that's pretty good. He's got two Storm Vermin, Red Ogre, uh, and then Lyman. Right. So the only can... level up, as far as I can see, is the block on the gutter runner. Yeah, it is. Which is a fairly good. Good uh, thing to get on a gutter runner. It is, which is why I'm gonna three dice him. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm not super confident about this match. I'll be honest. Um. Yeah, gutter runners can really um, exploit like slow. Well, I just it's it's just that that he's so fast and. Uh, if I fuck up, which is very likely considering last week's game, I fucked up a lot in last week's game. Um. 
then things go can go really badly for me and I my orcs don't have levels and so they don't have the skills to deal with things either. They just have what they have. Yeah, but then again orcs are quite uh averagely just like pretty uh like equipped when it comes to like just statistics. Like that they're they're pretty good at just anything really. So Yeah, but they don't have tackle is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, but like you still, you, at least you do have some blocks, for example. Uh, I have four blocks, which is good. Yeah, and you have a decent amount of strength and whatever. Even a, even a blitzer will get a double dice on a gutter runner. Yep, just a blitzer. That's uh, that is the nice thing. Every everything apart from my goblin can two dice a gutter runner if they can catch it. In fact, you can black you can uh, black or you can move your goblin uh, next to a gutter runner that blitz with a black or, and then get. Uh, three dice. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we've done that. That's my point. And then foul him. <laughs> oh, of course. If, like that. That's I, going to happen. I will be fouling gutter runners because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not? Exactly. Um. I don't know. It's last gonna... match. <coughs> oh, sorry. That that is the last match. Oh my god. We've been through four, right? There are four matches. I know, right? Let's have a look at the leaderboard to see like, how this actually like affects things. So, current leaderboard is Greg is at the top with 2-0-0. Uh, two, zero, zero. Then we have uh, Lucas and Ronith tied at 1-1-0. One, one, then we have... Zero ones. Yeah, then there's uh, Nick, me, and Pete at 1-0-1. One, one, and then Madden and Dan are both 0-0-2. Zero, zero, so, in terms of like actual like changes to the leaderboard... Uh... It's going to be an interesting week because it's really going to shove up or down where people are going to go. Yeah, Lucas Lucas gets joint first place with Greg if he wins. But if Greg wins, it cements Greg's first place. Well, let's yeah. hope that Lucas smashes Greg in his pooper then. No, yeah. don't I actually get first place? He gets, gets one loss and then I have one more score than him because I have a draw. Oh, you have a draw. Yeah, sorry. I keep thinking, I keep thinking that second column is loss. No, that's correct. You take if you win, you take first place. If you lose, he 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 keeps first place. Um, uh, in terms of the elves, uh, yeah. Well, if 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 uh, Dan wins, we equal out. If I win, I go to two one two zero one. Yeah, which so, puts so me in second place. Probably middle, unless, unless um, well, it puts me in second place unless Ronith wins. Yeah. Uh, and then Ronith versus Pete. Uh, Ronith either secures his like second, third, se joint second place, or he stays where or he Pete, is. Or, 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 or Pete takes second place. Yeah. I would. Well, that I don't think I'll take second place, but I'll, I'll well, have a better chance. I feel like I feel like I feel like we're just going to get another. Like this is going to be a week that's going to maybe put people into just another block of two zero one maybe. Or like that, or one zero two. Like I think we're just gonna get another block of people. One oh. second. If Dan and I draw, I go to one one one. Yep. And he goes to zero one two. I don't know. It's... I mean, this is all pure speculation. This yeah, it's just like it's just wait change. Just just wait until yeah. the weeks get played out and we see how they go. Exactly. All right. So that was the week two wrap up. Uh... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope the game should be good, and you guys should go check them out. And if you haven't watched earlier games, you should probably go check those out too, because there's been a couple of good ones. So, especially like, yeah. So people should go check those out. Uh, other than that, we will catch you guys in the actual games. Bye. 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 Yep. <laughs>